Guilty, Bernie Sanders caught stealing. Crazy Bernie Sanders threw the Democrat primaries without a fight because the DNC bought him a big house. He calls for ridiculous socialist policies while secretly living it up in luxury. There's one more charge to add to the list of ideological transgressions, Bernie is a thief. According to Mediate, Sanders has been caught red-handed stealing his neighbor's newspaper. Perhaps he was just redistributing the paper wealth, like a devout socialist. This story shows why Bernie Sanders cannot be taken seriously as a political candidate. It seems his dedication to socialism is worse than we thought. He's even practicing it on a micro level with his neighbor's property. Bernie's neighbor is a longtime subscriber to The Washington Post. Since that's the favorite paper of leftists, it's no wonder crazy Bernie was tempted to snag himself a copy. The neighbor called the WAPO to cancel his subscription, claiming that his copy of the Sunday paper hadn't arrived for a very long time. The company urged him not to cancel, promising to investigate the issue. Eventually, WAPO's customer service got back to the neighbor. They accused him of lying. Their delivery guy saw the man pick up the paper right as it was dropped off every Sunday. The neighbor insisted he never got it. The customer service rep said that the delivery man saw a balding elderly man with round glasses walk out to grab the Sunday paper. The neighbor said that it wasn't him he's a man in his fifties with a full head of black hair. Instead, the description fit his neighbor Bernie Sanders. It looks like old Bernie was caught. Oh, Bernie. He has enough money to buy himself expensive houses but can't foot the bill for his own newspaper subscription. That's what socialism is for, isn't it? Why buy something on your own when you can mooch off your neighbor? At least Bernie is practicing what he preaches. It's sad that so many Americans are drawn by Bernie's socialist nonsense. How many times does socialism have to fail? How many more lives have to be ruined before people realize it doesn't work? Was the USSR not case in point enough? What about Cuba? Is the calamity playing out live in Venezuela not proof enough? People like Bernie Sanders love promising the whole world free stuff. They ignore a basic truth, nothing in this life is free. Everything comes through hard work, time, and dedication. Free government handouts are paid for by someone. That someone is the American taxpayer. Of course, Bernie has never held a real job in his life, so he has no idea what it means to work for a living. Crazy Bernie is nothing but a government leech and opportunist.